Oh my god, this is... SPF index, how much is enough? Does it come off well after cleansing? Hello everyone, this is your favorite BioWish Trend and marketing team intern, Medi. So, before purchasing the UV Defense Moist Cream, I had maybe a few questions for you guys to see what you cared for the most and I uploaded a survey on Instagram. So I'm gonna upload a quick um, poll on Instagram, on my Instagram, um, at the Tiptori if you don't follow it. If we take a look at the results, SPF index, how much is enough, won by a landslide. And honestly, when you think about it, it kind of makes sense because if you apply a sunscreen, what you want to know is, does it work? To be honest, the goal of the survey was to pick the highest result and to do some tests around that question, but everything came about the same after that one landslide answer. So I was like, let's just do it all. Let's do everything. So vote, vote for me, you know, because I'm doing everything. So yeah. So SPF index, how much is enough? What is SPF? You guys might have so many questions. To put it simply, SPF is the number that you're gonna see on your bottle. Guys, no matter how high the SPF is, if you don't use the proper amount, we're doomed. So let's find out together. Let's use this pretty sunscreen right now and see what happens if we don't apply the proper amount. So the proper amount of sunscreen that you should be wearing is about the size of your thumb because we can't always be talking in grams, right? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use one third of the proper amount on one half of my face and I'm going to use the full amount on the other half and one third might actually be a good fit for you guys. Because I'm going to put three pump, so that should be enough for you guys. And I'm going to put one third on half of my face. Oh, I already see it turning black. Oh my God, this is <laughs> this is like my first time using that kind of camera and it's so fascinating. <gasps> you guys, you know, like all of the spots that we don't always apply the sunscreen on? Like, see, this went from like being absolutely white to completely black. And usually I kind of skip that area. <gasps> oh my God. I think I'm done. And now you guys are gonna do the full amount on the other half of my face. So, or I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna apply it like that. Put all of that. Okay, so you guys, I applied the whole thing on my face now. I think you can see a slight difference though. Like you can see that this side is a little bit darker, especially if I move that way. This is like 95% black and this is 120% black, I think. So if you look at it through the naked eye, you won't really see a difference. But if you look at it through the UV camera, there's definitely going to be a slight difference. So if you want to be confident in your applying abilities, go for SPF 50 and just be sure of your protection. Like I showed you in the last video where I visited the Amore Pacific RNI Center, the index is actually measured by shining UV rays on actual skin. But what this means is that according to the institute in which it is tested, it can vary. So the UV rays may not be the same, the results may not be the same. And because the sunscreen received a rating of an SPF 50 plus and PA 4 pluses in all three institutes, you can definitely go at it and trust it. So, does it remove well after cleansing? I know that if you look at it through that UV camera, you might think, oh my God, is that all gonna be able to go away? Well, we're gonna test that out right away. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna do one side cleansing oil and one side foaming cleanser. And we're gonna do both as well. And we're gonna see the results. Okay, you guys, disclaimer, I am not very good at this. I don't know how to make it pretty. So I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> You know, I'm being kind of rough, like on my eyes and stuff, and it's not stingy at all. So that's another thing that I want to say about the sunscreen. That's a very good thing. And I'm gonna go with the foaming cleanser. Let's go, baby. Let's do this. Like this is actually how I wash my face. <laughs> you know, when you see those YouTube videos, they're all like, I don't do it like that. Okay, so first of all, you can see that 
you can see a kind of shadow on my face. So you can see that here, here, I think I went in there, you guys, right? But here, like you can see a little shadow. Hmm, I don't think that's enough, you guys. So you can definitely see that the sunscreen is here to stay. Um, what we're gonna do right now is that I'm gonna do the cleansing oil. So this, in my opinion, is definitely going to have a different result. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna emulsify. So you guys, if we compare the side that I did with the foaming cleanser and the cleansing oil, you can see that there's a little bit of a difference. To be honest, you can't really tell if it's me who didn't rinse properly on one side or anything. But right now, what we're gonna show you is the difference when you do double cleansing. So we're gonna add another layer of cleansing to that, which, you know, it is double cleansing in both cases. So it is worth testing out. Let's try to rinse this out. So you guys, definitely double cleansing is something that I would strive for. Um, you can see the parts, the parts that kind of like shock me the most are close to my nose and under my eyes where you can see a big difference. Oh wow. So definitely go for double cleansing. So we just saw that for your face, you can use a cleansing oil, but you guys, we don't only put sunscreen on our faces, right? We put it on our body as well. And what you can do in the shower, you can use a cleansing oil if you want, but you can also use some kind of mitt or like loofah or glove to like scrub it away and then you're good to go. How often do you have to reapply? So many sources actually say that you have to reapply every two hours. And if you're outdoors a lot, that's definitely a great thing to do. If you're not, however, do you really have to reapply every two hours? Our staff, our beautiful staff, actually tested it out to see what really happens in our daily lives. The results showed that even four hours after applying this sunscreen, there wasn't that big of a difference. Of course, if you can reapply, that's great. But to be honest, it didn't look like it was necessary. However, you guys, if you're participating in an outdoors activity, you're going to be sweating, you're going to be taking your mask off, putting it back on, there's gonna be some rubbing going on. In that case, I definitely recommend you guys to reapply every two hours. So if you're indoors, you might not have to reapply every two hours, but if you're outdoors, we definitely recommend it. Now, the question is how? How on earth can I reapply my sunscreen throughout the day? So we did a live with Eunice not too long ago, and we asked you if you guys reapplied some sunscreen, and you actually confessed that, just like me, shh, it's a secret, you're not very good at it. So we just did an experiment showing you how important it is to reapply. And I know, it is uncomfortable, it's getting hot out there, it is summer, you're all oily and stuff, but stay tuned. I have a tip for you guys. Loading paper, you guys. It works like magic. Honestly, you guys, when we do outdoors activities, dust, sweat, humidity, just everything gets like mixed up on your face, especially if you wear makeup. This is the absolute worst. But you have to protect your skin. You have to go with a Biwish Trend UV Defense Moist Cream. What do you do? You use this baby. So guys, we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna show you how big of a difference it makes. Right there, you guys, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna let it absorb. And you're, you guys, this is actually fascinating. You're gonna see how well this is absorbing everything. Should I go for it? Are you ready? Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys, you can actually see the rectangle of the blotting paper and you can see that it has uh, absorbed everything. So you can see right now that this part of your skin, you guys, is not protected. So now do you understand the importance of reapplying? Because this is what happens when you're outside, when you're sweaty, when you put on your mask, take it off and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna reapply together. Oh my God. Okay, one last time. There, you guys. What are we gonna do? Oh, 
<laughs> I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. This is done. What we're going to do right now is we're going to reapply together. So I received Eunice's test result not too long ago, and it actually showed that you can reapply the sunscreen without much shine. So it really depends. Like when you apply it, you know, don't go all at once. Maybe go like this, and then it's going to be a lot easier for you guys. And you can see, you guys, that I have like no sunscreen boogers or like those white little things on my face. None of that. And that's because of the blotting paper. And you guys, I understand you. You might be like, I don't have a UV camera at home and I wish I had one at home as well, but we don't. So what you can do is just make sure that you reapply your SPF 50 very diligently. Things to know before using the Biowish Trend UV Defense Moist Cream. SPF 50 plus, PA 4 plus is UV protection you can trust with clinical tests performed at three institutes. Does not remove with just foaming cleanser, double cleanse, or use a cleansing oil. For outdoors activities, reapply every two hours. Use bloating paper to remove oil for a fresh reapplication. Okay, you guys, so I hope my video helped you choose whether you want to purchase the Biowish Trend UV Defense Moist Cream or not. I hope that you're going to because it's definitely 15% off right now for a very short time, so get on it. And if you want free shipping, and if I was helpful to you, and if you love me, use code I love Medi. Thank you, guys. Currently 15% off in celebration of the new release, Use the promo code made by who you think is the best intern and try out the new Buy Wish Trend UV Defense Moist Cream.